Thanks to Brilliant for supporting this episode of SciShow. Go to brilliant.org slash scishow to learn how you can take your STEM skills to the next level. Have you ever cut into a bell pepper and found another pepper inside it? Because I have. It's like someone took a baby pepper and put it inside a bigger one. I thought it was like a bug at first. Well, I have some good news. That mini pepper is totally edible. It's just a potential seed that got a little carried away. You see, the seeds inside fruits like peppers start out as ovules, the plant version of egg cells. During the flower stage, they wait for sperm inside a structure called the carpal, the outer part of which actually becomes the pepper fruit. You get a pepper when pollen ends up on the top of that carpal. The sperm in that pollen travel down to the ovules and fertilize them, and that triggers the ovules to become seeds and the outer part of the carpal to become fruit. But there are lots of ovules in a pepper, and not all of them get fertilized. Sometimes an unfertilized ovule goes rogue and starts to become a new pepper instead. Or part of one, anyway. See, that inner pepper is actually a wannabe carpal, or what botanists call a carpaloid structure. Basically, genetic mutations can cause an unfertilized ovule to start growing like it's that outer part of the carpal. It just starts making a fruit. Since this happens without the ovule being fertilized, these internal peppers are considered a type of parthenocarpy, the development of fruit without fertilization. And they're more common in peppers with genetic mutations that create misshapen ovules, ones which can't be fertilized properly. Right now, no one really knows exactly why this is, but researchers are eager to find out because strains of pepper that produce carpaloid structures sometimes make entirely seedless peppers. That's right. Parthenocarpy doesn't just give us nested fruits, it can produce completely seedless ones, something that we have taken advantage of. Bananas, pineapples, eggplant, and oranges are just a few varieties of seedless parthenocarpic fruits that we enjoy on a regular basis. And while pepper seeds might seem benign, plants that make seedless pepper fruits tend to be more reliable and make consistently larger peppers, so they'd mean a better harvest. We're also not the only ones that benefit from parthenocarpy. Some wild plants plants use it as a way of dealing with predators, like wild parsnips. They will produce some fruits with seeds and some without. The seedless ones are decoys for parsnip webworms, pests which eat and destroy the plant's seeds. They tend to attack the seedless fruits instead of the ones that contain the plant's actual offspring. So Parthenocarpy is a useful phenomenon both as a natural defense and for our own snacking purposes. And yes, even though that tiny pepper isn't fertilized, it's a pepper all the the same, which means that it is totally edible. Chop it up and put it in your taco. Just think of it as like a two-for-one special. And if you love good deals, then I have more good news. Today's sponsor, Brilliant, is offering 20% off their annual premium subscription to the first 200 people to sign up at brilliant.org slash scishow. With that subscription, you will gain access to all of their amazing interactive STEM courses, including their new cryptocurrency course. In it, you will learn about the math and technology behind cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. So whether you're naturally curious about the world around you, want to build problem-solving skills, or need to develop confidence in your analytical abilities, you'll get a lot out of a Brilliant Premium membership. And you can start learning something new today by heading over to brilliant.org slash scishow.